All right, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take this sample file.json and then put it up on AWS S3. It's an Amazon Web Services service that allows us to host files on the internet. Uh, eventually you can use this to turn it into a web page or uh, supply data to your data-driven visualization. But for now, we're just gonna figure out how to upload the files and learn a little bit of the terminology. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to aws.amazon.com. Maybe you already have an Amazon account. Uh, I already do, so I'm gonna go to the AWS Management Console, which will log me right in. Now, there are 10,000 different services that Amazon has here, and they all have horrible names. The one we're looking for is called S3. So you're gonna type S3 in this little search box up at the top and then just click S3. I don't know if your page is gonna look the same as this uh, because they've temporarily re-enabled the previous version of the S3 console while they continue to improve the new S3 console experience, which probably means the new one is bad. Um, so we'll do it with this and then we'll see how it works. So when you want to host files on the cloud using S3, the first thing you need to do is create what's called a bucket. So a bucket, think of a bucket as a folder or a project that you're gonna put all of your files into. I have 27 buckets because I have 27 different projects uh, or thereabouts that I'm hosting data online with. So I'm gonna click create bucket up here. I'm gonna enter a name for it. You might wanna call it a sample and then it's like, no, sample is taken or whatever. I'm going to call it uh, test uploading files, because why not? Test uploading files seems great. Uh, regions, they don't matter to you now. If you are hosting files and you're in a different country, maybe you would pick a region uh, that is closer to you. Uh, maybe it would default to something closer to you, but I think I'm closest to the Northern Virginia one, the US East region, so I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna take note of my bucket name, test uploading files, and just save it for later. Scroll down, copy settings, no, that's fine. I'm gonna click next. I could click create right now, but I'm gonna walk through all of these steps with you. So next, configure your options. Versioning, we don't need it. Server access logging, we don't need it. Tags, we don't need them. Object level logging, we don't need them. Default encryption logging, advanced settings, we don't need them. Next, set permissions. Blah, 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 blah. Now, the number one thing that you might have heard of S3 regarding is unsecured S3 buckets on the internet are the number one kind of place that private data is posted and then quote unquote hacked uh, by people who are searching around on the internet because companies will upload data that they feel is private in a private place in an S3 bucket, but it turns out they actually enabled public access. So anyone could visit the URL and access all of that data. We want people to be able to access this data. We want to put this file, whether it's an image, whether it's a text file, whether it's a CSV, we want other people to be able to access it. So we're gonna skip reading all this. We're just gonna uncheck block all public access. We don't wanna block all public access. We do want public access to our bucket. We don't want people to be able to upload to it, but we do want people to be able to read. Uh, I acknowledge that the current settings may result in this bucket and the objects within becoming public. Yeah, I would love them to be public. I'm gonna check that box. Next, they review and they say, you didn't select any of this. And I say, correct. And they say, you made things kind of public. And I say, great. I'm gonna click create bucket. Now I called this test uploading files. I just searched for it and it comes up right here. So I'm gonna click test uploading files and here I am. The bucket is empty, upload new objects to get started. Every time they say objects, you think file. New objects, new file. So I wanna upload this sample file.json right here. So I'm gonna click upload and I'm just gonna drag this file over. I'm not gonna just drag that file over, I'm gonna drag this file over. There we go. Okay, so is this file larger than 160 gigs? No, it's fine. So I'm uploading 
I click next, set permissions, and you're like, uh, I don't know what's going on here. It's fine. But right here, manage public permissions. Anytime you hear the word public, think, do I want strangers to be able to read this file? And you're like, yes, I do want strangers to be able to read this file. So I'm going to click this. It's a drop down. Uh, grant public read access to this object. They say object, you think files. So we do want the public to be able to read this file. We click next. It asks a storage class. You're like, I don't know, it's fine. Standard, great, perfect. You can scroll down. Do we need a header? Do we need a tag? No. Do we need encryption? No. Just hit next. Review and you're like, yeah, all those things seem fine. Upload and now it has uploaded the file. So if you click the file, it'll pull up some information about it on the side. Object URL right here. They say object URL. You think file URL. So now we can click this and there you go. It opens right up. And this is our file. Instead of being on our local machine, it is on our remote machine. Now, the one thing I will say, if you hit back, it takes you to specifically that file. Um, we wanna click the bucket and then browse to the file. The problem that will happen is, if you are trying to access this in a data-driven way, if you're using it in D3 or jQuery on a website or something, it is probably not going to work unless you put all of your files on S3. If I put my index file up here, everything will be great. Um, but if I do not, if I'm trying to you know, run from my server and then access this file on this other server, you are going to get what's called a cores error, C-O-R-S, and we'll cover how to fix that problem in a future. Actually, let me just, let me just do it right now. Let me, let me show you what happens. So um, I have this file right here on localhost 8000. Right now, what this file is doing um, is it pulls in sample file.json, it takes the sentence, and then it copies it into debug. So this says this is a sample local file. When I refresh index.html, it puts this is a sample local file on, uh, on this page here. So, if I go sample file.json, this is the JSON file that I'm using. But if I say, no, I want to use the file from the web, I'm going to pull out this URL, copy link address, and now instead of getting sample file.json, I'm going to get this. So it's the exact same file. Everything's perfect. Everything's fine. All I did was instead of getting the local file, uh, and that's in the same folder as index.html. I'm going to change it to the one that is live on S3. Then I refresh this, and it breaks. No access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource. Everything is terrible. Everything is bad. Look forward to another video on how to fix this problem.